Hi there, Bert TV. The subject of today's discussion is the uh, speed and RPM rate uh, calculations you might find in our catalogs or our website. Uh, the very first, this is a special school that I'm conducting here because unlike grade school, you have to start out with a frosty beverage. So please at this time, grab a frosty beverage, uh, grab a calculator, and uh, work along with me here and let's, let's go to school and figure out these equations. Uh, 20 years ago when I started, I looked around for equations to help me describe to people what the primary drive, the secondary drive, and the transmission does to your RPM. I couldn't find any at that time, so I derived the equations you see behind me on the upper left and upper right of the uh, dry erase board. And uh, these equate, I'm sure there's other equations out there, some may be simpler, but these work and these work well, and they comprehend all the significant variables involved in uh, deriving RPM and speed for a given motorcycle. Uh, all motorcycles in my book have four transmissions. Uh, number one is the primary drive, number two is the transmission itself. Number three is the secondary drive, in other words, the power from the transmission to the rear wheel. And the fourth transmission is the rear tire diameter, because that diameter will significantly change the, uh, the speed and RPM of your motorcycle. Uh, while we're talking about the rear tire diameter, let's get into the uh, variables that we work with in these equations. TC in these equations refers to tire circumference. And uh, believe it or not, the tire circumference most of the time, or the tire diameter most of the time, is something like 25 inches. But the most precise way to really uh, apply tire diameter, i.e. circumference, to these equations is to use the circumference. In other words, the most accurate way is to take a string or a tape and run it around the tire perimeter and that is generally around 6.54. Um, whether it's a 17 inch rear tire or a 19 inch rear tire, quite often uh, that number is somewhere around 6.54. If you want to get exact exact on your calculations, get your wife's uh, or your girlfriend's tape thing, you know, that they see how fat or skinny they are and uh, run around your tire, clean it off before you put it back in her powder drawer and you know, she, you won't get caught. But uh, the next variable is the secondary front, meaning the secondary drive front sprocket. That's the one on your transmission. The PM expression is the primary drive motor, which is the sprocket that's on your motor shaft, your output shaft of your motor. The secondary rear is the sprocket or pulley that's on your rear, rear wheel. The primary clutch, PC, is the primary drive clutch. That's the sprocket that's on the back of your clutch. And then lastly, G for gear ratio. It's what gear you're in uh, expressed in, you know, the normal 1 to 1, 3.24 to 1, stuff like that. Uh, it might sound a little bit complicated, but hopefully with these two examples, it'll become a little clearer. So let's say you have a 2005 bagger. You want to calculate at 80 miles an hour going down the road, what's the RPM? You take the 80 miles an hour, get out your calculator with the big buttons. I like the big buttons one because I, I, it increases my odds of, of mashing the right button at the right time. So let's go 80 times 70 times 36 times 1 times 88 divided by 6.54, divided by 32, divided by 25, equals 33.91. Now, if you wanted to explore what a six speed would do to your RPM at 80 miles an hour, the neat thing about it is you take that 33.90, you don't have to go through this mumbo jumbo again, otherwise you'll have a bunch of empty beer cans and you'll be sad, but Let's just take 33.91 and multiply it times a sixth gear ratio. Uh, 0.86 is a typical number. And that comes out to 29.16. So your RPM on, with the five speed would be 33.91 calculated. 
with a six speed with a 0.86 ratio, it would be 29.16. It lowers it, uh, I don't know, about 500 RPM, almost 500 RPM. Let's go to another example, uh, 2015 bagger. A little different transmission, a little different primary, but it's still the same stuff, it's just numbers. So we want to calculate the speed at 3,000 RPM. So at 3,000 RPM cruising down the road, what is our speed? So you take 3,000, get out your calculator with the big buttons right here, and um, let's get rid of that. 3,000 times 6.54 times 32 times 34 divided by 68 divided by 46 divided by 1 divided by 88 equals ta da 77.54 let's round it up to 78 miles an hour i hope this explanation helps you a little bit in using these equations because really these equations are power and they help you understand your machine a lot better um, a final note, I would advise anybody to get a service manual for their motorcycle to understand their motorcycle better. Word of caution on that though, in section 5 of the uh, service manual, you'll see what's called overall drive ratios. The numbers will be listed in the front of that section. And the overall drive ratios seem a little bit Greek maybe, like the first gear ratio is 9.59, what the hell is that? Well, they're, they're, they're being tricky, but not. That is simply the product of taking uh, the first gear ratio inside the transmission, 3.34, times your primary drive ratio, times your secondary drive ratio, and that's your overall drive ratio. It takes into account three of those four transmissions I talked about earlier. Um, in section six, you'll see the plain Jane transmission ratios listed they'll be listed as transmission ratios, and, and that's the numbers inside the transmission. And uh, so don't be put off by that, it's just numbers. If you need any help, give our uh, tech or, or salespeople a call, they'll be happy to help you through this. Uh, it's just math, don't be afraid of it, and don't be afraid of beer. Ciao.